Hello everyone and welcome to this Disney World vlog. So we went to Disney over Thanksgiving weekend and stayed at Fort Wilderness with my husband's family and we had an absolute blast. It wasn't a super long vacation, it was pretty quick, but it was so nice and so chill and so much fun. So as you can see, we drove down, we actually drove down on Thanksgiving day, which I have to say there was so much less traffic when you would drive on Thanksgiving day. And the first thing we did when we got to Fort Wilderness was a very like Fort Wildernessy thing. That's the Disney campground, by the way. Um, and that is we rented a golf cart and we decorated it. So on the, in the campground, you can rent golf carts, which I would highly recommend because it is ginormous. And that way you don't have to use like the buses. Um, which are available complimentary, but they're just kind of, you know, more difficult than a golf cart. And so people always decorate their golf carts, which is nice because you can tell which one's yours. And especially for Christmas, they go all out. So we got a bunch of things at the dollar store before we came and decorated the golf cart. And here is how it turned out. We've got like tinsel and candy canes and all the things. After that, it was time to make some Thanksgiving food. So I was in charge of the sweet potato casserole, which I brought completely done. I just had to heat it up. And then the deviled eggs. I actually ended up making two sets of deviled eggs. Um, so my first set of deviled eggs was like the traditional with mayonnaise and all of that kind of stuff. And the second set is how I usually make it. And a little known secret for you um, where pretty much the only thing in there is eggs and hummus. Um, it sounds super weird, but it is so, so, so yummy, really flavorful. You can get like, you know, roasted garlic hummus and there's all these different kinds. And so that makes it even yummier. I have been serving all of my family these eggs for, you know, seven years and nobody knew that it was hummus until this year because I told them um, because I made non hummusy ones because my husband does prefer the non hummus ones, but everybody else likes my hummus ones. So I want to give you that little tip in case you needed a little bit of inspiration or something really easy to do, um, you know, for your next little, next little cookout. So this trip, like I said, was really short. We came down on Thursday and we left on Sunday. So it was very short. We are going to Magic Kingdom and we're also headed over to Disney Springs and to Harry Potter in Universal because I mean, really the only reason we go to Universal is for Harry Potter, let's be honest. Um, so all of that is to come. We do go down to Disney quite a bit. Um, it's, it's about four hours away from us. So it's really nice. And it's just, it's one of our favorite places. This trip in particular was like really magical. It just, I, we've never been at Christmas time. So that was nice or Thanksgiving time either. We usually go in 4th of July when it is like boiling hot. So even just the weather being nicer was really nice. I didn't feel like there was that many people, but again, we usually go during 4th of July when there's like 70,000 million people there. So it could just be my perspective. Um, but here is a little look at our Thanksgiving dinner. I liked that we stayed at the campground because then we could have like a traditional Thanksgiving dinner, even though we were, you know, at Disney. Here is our campground decor. Um, so also a very Fort Wildernessy thing. People typically decorate their campgrounds. So if you're going, be warned. Um, because if you don't decorate, then you look kind of you know, Scrooge like, and this is normal, like all year round people decorate, but especially for the holidays. After that, we decided to go resort hopping. And so we hopped in the golf cart and look, we saw turkeys. We saw turkeys on Turkey day. I just thought that was like the craziest thing. We have seen turkeys there before and deer and squirrels and bunnies and armadillos and all sorts of things, but it was just really cool to see like a whole bunch of turkeys on Thanksgiving. So I just, I enjoyed that. Anyway, we were headed over to the Grand Floridian because they have a giant um, gingerbread house that I wanted to see since it was, you know, the first time we've been there at Christmas. So we just hopped in our golf cart and went down to the campground marina. And then from there, we hopped onto the boat that goes to Magic Kingdom. And from the boat, we then end up hopping onto the monorail, which goes to the Grand Floridian as well as the Polynesian and the Contemporary. Um, so resort hopping is when you go to the other resorts and yes, you are allowed to do that. Although you are not allowed to like park at other resorts unless you have a, um, reservation or like a dining reservation or something. So here's magic kingdom from the outside on Thanksgiving day. Oh, just so happy. There's another monorail going past us. 
it's just so pretty. Um, so even if you are going down to Disney, you don't really have to be like in the parks every single day. It's still fun to go and do other things like, you know, go to different resorts and all sorts of that kind of stuff. We also, one of our favorites is the Polynesian. I gotta say, we've never stayed there, but we go there often. <laughs> so here is the inside of the Grand Floridian. I have been here. I've never stayed here, but I have been here. Um, but never at Christmas time. Like I said, we've never been to Disney at Christmas time. So it was so cool. Um, all of the trees all throughout all of the parks and the whole resort, um, like all of Disney World are all themed. So here's like a little look of one of the smaller trees and you can see it's like, it's very, it's very Grand Floridian, you know? And it, it matches very well. And it was like that everywhere. So like the campground tree looked very like campgroundy. Um, in the lobby, there was a pianist playing some like Christmas tunes and some Disney tunes, which y'all, I'm not going to lie. I, I feel like I could have sat in this lobby for like forever and just stared at the Christmas tree and the gingerbread house and listened to the music. And it was, it was great. So this gingerbread house is full size. Like there are people inside who are selling stuff from the gingerbread house. I did. I bought a shingle and it ate it wasn't it, it wasn't as good as mine I gotta say but it was it was okay um I was a little disappointed I'm not gonna lie I'm very into gingerbread and have very high opinions but it was pretty and it was also cool it was the 50th anniversary this year so they had different decorations than normal apparently I've never seen them normally but apparently normally they have like red and green and traditional like Christmassy colors and this year it was all like blue for the 50th like that blue purple iridescent thing going on we walked all around the Glaren Floridian. We went into the gift shops. I bought a hat. Um, we went like all over the place. And then by the time we left, it was dark outside. And so headed over. It was so pretty with all the lights. So here's our campsite. All lit up at nighttime. And then after that, we actually wanted some snackage. So we went down. There's a food truck that is at the campground, um, like sing along area. Oh, check out my sweatshirt. Just had to give it a little cameo and here's my here's my shingle um so there's a campground sing-along area at the campground and we actually were gonna watch the sing-along because i've never seen it but they apparently are not doing it now i assume because of covid i don't know but they also do like movies and s'mores and stuff so there's a food truck there we went and got like chicken and stuff um then we went back made some hot chocolate i ate my gingerbread and we watched jungle cruise on our like big blow up we have like a blow up screen and a projector and i have to say jungle cruise was absolutely amazing it might be one of my like top favorite movies i love adventure movies i have to say that was all thursday by the way now we're on to friday and friday's the day we went to magic kingdom Hope you enjoyed the little barbershop quartet we did when we first walked in so on friday we ended up sleeping in and i did a lot of black friday shopping on my laptop while i ate breakfast and we knew we wanted to be there at night so we weren't like super worried about getting there early but we popped over we we went into this we thought it was like a show but it was just like a meet mickey thing so i have a picture with mickey now so i mean like cool but also i'm like you know not a child so what there was that those like little parade things have been going around just because they're not having like actual parades because of gathering um and we went and did a few rides and then we went to this starlit cafe so good i had a macaroni bacon burger delightful then we went on the tomorrowland speedway and our um our race car was broken so the steering wheel didn't work which was hilarious because my husband drives race cars so it was just really ironic and hilarious that it was like he couldn't do anything to help it 
Um, we did a lot of stuff in Tomorrowland, which is cool because I feel like we usually go the other way. So it was end in Tomorrowland. Um, but this Buzz Lightyear ride definitely has to be like one of my favorites. We also did um, a bunch of other things like Monsters Inc. and some of the other things over in there. This is still still Buzz Lightyear. And then we headed over to Fantasyland. Um, we did quite a few things in Fantasyland too. The Little Mermaid is one of my absolute favorites. I think it's just because I watched it like 75 million times as a child. So I definitely, definitely feel good about it. There's Beast Castle. I love Beauty and the Beast. That's probably my favorite one. Um, they have these little like, these little like crab projections all throughout the queue for um, The Little Mermaid, which was just super, super fun. So if I had to give you any tips about Disney, I would say that you should have a couple things like on your must do list and maybe each person has a couple things on their must do list, but don't get like too overly planned because it's really nice to just kind of like go with the flow and like chill out. And like, we didn't ride everything, but um, when you ride everything, it's called rope drop to fireworks, which is like when it opens till when it closes and it's like insane we've done that it's crazy one thing that was on my must do list was to head over to gaston's tavern because they have this cinnamon roll that i hear about all the time and i wanted to try it i did not realize it was this ginormous it this picture doesn't even do it justice like it was huge literally i did not eat dinner because i ate this thing um and my husband's on keto so he's not eating any carbs so it was just me. Um, we stayed in Fantasyland after that, and we went over to Feel Her Magic. That's one of my favorite shows. It's not a ride, but it's a show. Um, but it's just so cute and so much fun. And since we're music people, that is like a big thing to me. Um, we headed over to Small World. We do actually like Small World. My husband said that that's his favorite. And the ride, the line wasn't super long, as opposed to like Peter Pan, y'all. I don't understand why Peter Pan's line is always like an hour and a half. I feel like it should be a lot faster than that. I mean, I love Peter Pan, but like it's just always got a really long line. I don't really understand it. Um, but one thing they're doing, I don't know if this is normal or just like right now, but they're doing like these projections on the castle, which is super cool because it'll like change every few, you know, minutes or hours or whatever. And then that also added that to the fireworks with that I remember but I don't remember it like just lighting up normally we didn't have the prime um fireworks place position but we did get the side of the castle we were over in sleepy hollow concessions because I wanted this jingle bell sipper this was also on my must do list it is the coolest thing ever it is a cup it jingles it lights up it's amazing we got two of them and I was just like the happiest little clam could not be happier it was so great we did some more stuff after the fireworks we went to the hall of presidents we did haunted mansion which we have never done before we did walk through adventureland but by the time we walked through adventureland it was quite late and so we ended up just heading out so we just kind of like walked through and we're like oh we should do that next time we we're here basically and then headed out um got some good pictures of the castle and yeah so Saturday, gosh, I feel like that's a lot of stuff in two days. Saturday, I went to the campground um, like quick service place, PJ's, and got a campfire s'mores latte. It was delightful. After that, we headed over to Disney Springs. So we just used the buses from Disney. So they have um, buses that will take you to all the parks and to Disney Springs. Um, and it's a very, it's a whole Whole system but we headed over there we did some Christmas shopping I got this little baby actually at the park yesterday and we went to deluxe burger which was absolutely delightful I got the southern burger it had pimento cheese and bacon which is always always a hit we got some other things I didn't show them you know just in case because presents we got something for my mother-in-law and something for my dad and some other things and some goodies and oh here's my hat that I got at the Grand Floridian it's amazing and it actually was like quite chilly this weekend it was it was freaking me out usually again we're there at 4th of July um, the Mickey statue had Topiary had a Santa hat. I just thought that was so cool. And then we went back to the campground, chilled out for a little bit, and then we headed over to Universal. We weren't there for a long time. We mostly just kind of wanted to see the Christmas decorations, and we went over to Harry Potter, which is where we spend the bulk of our time, um, and also did some eating over there. So here you can see like the giant tree in the little like New York section. I don't know 
Universal as well as I know Disney. So like, I don't know all of, all of what everything's called, but giant tree. Here's King's Cross Station. That's where you go to get onto the train that takes you to the other park so that you can see um, both sides of Harry Potter because they put them in both parks, which was a brilliant marketing thing, but also kind of rude. Um, but we headed over to, oh, what's it called? Diagon Alley, that's it. And we ate at the Leaky Cauldron. So this is like a, you know, universal version of quick service restaurant. So I had some fish and chips and hot butter beer. I've only ever had it cold. And I gotta say, it was better hot. It was delightful. It's not actual beer. It's like a butterscotch drink situation. And here you can see some Christmas lights. Here's the dragon on top of Green Gringotts. Um, I've seen the dragon breathe fire before. I have apparently never stood very close to it because this thing shocked me. It was so warm and we were really far away and you could feel it and I was not expecting that. So fair warning. Um, after that, we headed back to the campsite, made some hot chocolate, at least I did, and we went golf cart riding. So my um, father-in-law and brother-in-law were on a different golf cart, and my husband and I were on this one, and we rode through literally every single loop in the entire campground. It was quite an adventure. We looked at all of the decorations. Y'all, some people go all out. They're like, you'll see some in here that are like crazy and I appreciate it. I think it's cool, but I'm also like, you have to store that somewhere and you have to take it down at the end of your trip. And like, that seems like a lot of work. So kudos to you, all of you who like go super all out. I think it's amazing. I do not <laughs> because it just seems like quite a bit of work, but it's really fun. Like when you're riding around on your golf cart and checking it out by this point, it was quite, quite chilly. Like I had to bring a blanket and like my huge puffer coat and the whole nine yards. Um, and yeah, it was just a good time. This was a really like chill Disney trip, which not all trips are. And I really enjoyed that. I also enjoyed the weather being cooler and just all over. Like it was a really good, really good experience. So I hope you enjoyed this little Disney World vlog. I will have more because we already have a, a few, a few trips planned for next year. So I'm already getting excited for some things that are on the horizon and I'll let you know when we are a little bit closer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're interested in more content like this. And let me know in the comments what you would like to see, especially if you have Disney World questions. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye and Merry Christmas.